In this video, I am going to solve an exercise of physical chemistry and I will explain to you how you can calculate the osmotic pressure by this example. Our question is to calculate the osmotic pressure which is formed by dissolving 50 mg of acetyl salicylic acid in 100 ml of water at a temperature of 37 degrees. Just to your information, acetyl salicylic acid is known as the active substance in aspirin. At this point, you can pause the video and solve the exercise by yourself. So, at first we have to choose a formula. For strongly diluted substances, like in our mixture, we take an equation by Van't Hoff, which is derived of the ideal gas law. The P is the osmotic pressure that we want to find out. We have to multiply the concentration C of the solved substance with the gas constant R and the temperature T. What we already know is the mass of the acetyl salicylic acid, the temperature, the volume and the gas constant. Here you have got to take attention to the units that you use. Use gram instead of milligram, kelvin instead of centigrade and cubic meter instead of liters. What is still missing to use the formula? We need the concentration of the diluted substance, but first we have to find out the molar mass of the acetyl salicylic acid. I simply added the molar masses of the single atoms to find the molar mass of the molecule. As a result, I came to the molar mass of 180 g per mole. With this, we can determine the molar amount n. Just divide the mass of the diluted substance by its molar mass. To get the concentration, we divide the molar amount by the volume of the water and receive a molarity of 2.776 mol per cubic meter. Now we can set everything into our formula. We multiply the concentration with the gas constant and the temperature. The last thing we have to care about is the unit of the osmotic pressure. We can reduce it to kilogram per meter square second, which is, as you may know, Pascal. With that, we accomplished the exercise. We calculated an osmotic pressure of 7159 Pascal. I hope that I may help you a little to pass your next exam. Bye!